Right, in this little video we're going to look at how to import CSV files in R. Now CSV files or comma separated value files are um, a very portable um, file format. They can be read by pretty much anything. Um, so here's a the jjj.csv file. If I open that up, I just my defaults to open up in a in a text editor, but um, you can open it open up in Excel if you you know all that. Open up in a spreadsheet. Um, let me see all our data. So we got some names, ages, um, sex, height in meters, weight in kg, etc. Um, and we're gonna pull that into R. So let me just do a quick ls. Show you that there's nothing under my sleeves in my sleeves, so to speak. So, age, uh, first data set, name. That's all that we've got there. And um, we're going to create the JJJ object. We use the assign operator, and um, then it's it's pretty easy. So read dot CSV um, is the function. Um, so we're going to read a CSV file. And now the first thing we need to do is tell it where it is. So file equals. And then we put in between uh, quotation marks um, the location of this file. So it happens to be on my desktop in jjj.csv. Now, Mac is a Unix system, uh, Windows is not. And so these, uh, these slashes need to go the other way. And well, you basically just find, find your file and, and put that in, in quotation marks. Um, and then I can write head equals true, um, capital. True. To say the first line of this data set is um, the uh, is the name of the variables, but in fact um, that the default value of this variable head in the, the read.csv function is true. So by default it reads that in. But if you do have a data set that the first row is just plain old data, you could set that to false. And then if we run that code and we type jjj, we have the data set in R. And now if I type ls, we see age, first data set, and JJJ and name are in R. So very simple um, little bit of code there. Read.csv and then where the file is. And in fact you you can even get rid of the, the file equals. Um, and if you if you just run that um, you see it's read that in as well. So that's that's how easy it is to import data um, into.